What's up my people? Bless up on yourself, welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So my people, the first thing I want to share with you guys, I'm playing crash scene and the police them are theorized right now say the plane did either come for something or drop off something seeing some illegal activity right so this is how them theorize say happen right our news understand that a botch landing in a swamp was the cause of friday night's plane crash in saint elizabeth it's understood the occupants of the aircraft attempt to land and a makeshift runway located in a remote area of the community. The pilot reportedly missed the runway and the aircraft ended up in the swamp. It's been theorized that when the occupants were unable to remove the plane, the aircraft was set on fire. Our new center has been reliably informed. Gas Isle was found at the scene of the crash. It's not immediately clear what the aircraft was transporting or why it was landing on an unauthorized runway in the remote area. The occupants of the aircraft have still not been found. This is a developing story. We'll bring you more details as they become available. So my people, <laughs> boy, may I tell us somebody plan mash up. Jaja. Zin, so wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section and we are going to move on my people I you drop out in um, Westmoreland scene so a 19 year old man died after the motorcycle he was driving collided with a truck along the Broughton main road in Little London Westmoreland on Friday afternoon this marks the parish first fatal crash of the year the deceased has been identified as Sasha Brown, also known as Trey, from the community. Reports from the police corporate communications unit state that around 4.30 p.m. Brown was driving his black special edition motorcycle along the Broughton main road towards Little London when, upon reaching a section of the main road, he collided with a Toyota Tundra pickup truck. Brown reported he sustained multiple injuries and was rushed to the hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. The Rural Safety Unit reported that Jamaica ended 2023 with 425 people being killed in crash. The number marked a 10% decrease in fatalities compared to 2022. And them say 2022, you had 488 person drop out seeing so them youth yeah, especially the local bike rider them them need to take time and ride you see me i said take no time on the street bridging so people let me know what you guys think in the comment section and we are gonna move on my people to a man we get shot and killed in a manchester friday night that a last night seen a man was shot dead by a gunman at a bar in porous manchester on friday night police identified the deceased as henry also known as Pacha, a farmer from Top Coffee Grove District near Porus. According to reports, Henry was among patrons at a bar around 9.30 p.m. when gunmen opened gunfire, hitting him multiple times. Henry was subsequently found suffering from gunshot wounds on the step at the entrance of the bar. Since the start of the year, Manchester has recorded three murders. A taxi driver died on Wednesday from injuries sustained after being beaten in the head during a domestic dispute in Cocoa Walk, Manchester, on Tuesday. Then on Friday, a man succumbed to gunshot wounds at hospital two days after being injured in a drive-by shooting in the troubled community of Greenville on the outskirts of Mandeville in Manchester. So people... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm going to show you the picture. Scene, and you're going to see one look of blow road part of the man that lie down upon the step of the bar. You see me? So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.